My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. All right, so Craig is not here today, so I'm gonna do the introduction. What's up, YouTube? I think that's how he does it. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so today we actually have a special guest, if I can get the camera right. <laughs> hey guys. What's going on? Chris Gate from uh, Slow Country Balls over in South Carolina. Yep. Who uh, has been on the show a couple of times, uh, actually helped him move. And funny story is, he's fixing to move again next weekend. So yep. We'll try to give him a hand. Uh, Cassie has surgery, so I'm not sure how, uh, how it's going to work out. But anyway, I hope you have good luck on your uh, six month ago. Uh, about 11 months, yeah. I don't know. It was March, so yeah, something like that. Anyway, so Chris come by. Uh, actually, he's picking up a snake from me, and I'm picking up a snake from him. And you'll see those at the end, so stay tuned. But in the meantime, he's got a little project that I think you're going to find interesting. I find it interesting. Um, so let's get straight to it. All right. So I've been really enjoying working with the Blue Eyed Lucidus Complex, especially the Mojave and Mystic. And you guys have probably seen that over time. Uh, I just threw Enchi into there one time, and I produced a pastel Enchi Super Mystic female that I really loved and enjoyed. And I saw an opportunity to get a mystic potion with Enchi in it as a male and I started working with that and we're going to post a picture of that whole clutch because I've since sold some of those animals but I wanted to show some of the highlights from that and also some of the animals that that male has sired with a regular Mojave. So one of the key animals that we've produced this year is this male Super Enchi Mystic Potion. And So the Mystic Potion is Mystic and Mojave. Mojave. Yep. And so What's really neat is that the yellow was actually a lot lighter until about two months of age. That's when the yellow has started to pop and come in. And it's kind of cool to see that even compared to, if you just change out that Mojave gene from Mystic and make the Enchi Super Mystic, you see how much darker it gets. And one of the reasons I've really enjoyed working with Mystic and Mojave is you still have pattern to work with. And Super Enchi has really brought this pattern back. And we'll describe the picture a little bit more clearly to show you the whole clutch, but in that clutch there was a Super Mystic, an Enchi Super Mystic, a Pastel Enchi Super Mystic, and then two Super Enchi Super Mystics and this uh, Super Enchi Mystic Potion. Nice. So this is Super Enchi Mystic Mojave. Yep. And this is Super Enchi Super Mystic. Yep. So double super here. So you can only wow. get Enchi Mystics from her, and from him you'll get either Enchi Mystics right. or Enchi Mojaves, That's which really cool. makes a fun pairing. Yep. These look really good on camera, too. And I've got two half-siblings to these guys that I think are Enchi Super Mojaves. It's been tough to tell because Super Mojaves have all white. I bred the same father, the Enchi Mystic Potion, to a giant Mojave female. It's actually the first morph I ever bought. It's an 08 Mojave, and she's at 4,000 grams right now. Yeah. She usually produces around 10 to 12 uh, eggs per clutch. And like, if you see on the back of this neck right there, you see that yellow? I don't know if it's come through on the camera or not. I don't know if you're picking it up on camera, but these definitely, uh, so Super Mojave's usually have a really dark purple head and, uh, and solid white. These are actually having some slight pattern in yellow down the uh, dorsal here and have a really light colored head. So, yeah, I think they're going to be Enchi uh, Mystic Potions. And they're a pair, so I have one of each, but it's Enchi it, it, Super, Super Mojave's. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yep. No, I no, said no. that wrong. I, I've just got too many uh, possibilities here. Enchi <laughs> uh, Super Mojave's. So, that's pretty cool. 
But yeah, they've been. It's been. And a these are fun. available, right? These two are available, and this male over here is available. They're all on morph market. Okay, cool. Um, I've decided to keep back the both the pair of en super enchi super mystics for my project because don't blame me. Too much possibility with that. <laughs> yep. All right, so we're going to show a picture here, um, and let Chris uh, ID them as you look at them. So in the center, you have just your standard super mystic. And these were all the Super Mystic and Mystic Potions from the Clutch. Coming down to the viewer's lower left, you have the Enchi Super Mystic. And then if you add Pastel, you get the Pastel Enchi Super Mystic. And you can really see the difference in the heads. Now, going from Super Mystic to Enchi, you see how the yellow's been popping out more. And the pattern got widened out, the dorsal stripe and some of the alien heads. Pastel lightened the head. If you really compare the head, the... the and she super mystic has a dark head the pastel is much lighter and the yellows are starting to get bright and then the top two the top left two are your enchi super mystics and this one is the enchi or super enchi mystic potion and you can see even from comparing this picture which was taken maybe a month after they were born one shed into it or after their second shed you can see the difference that the additional sheds have made with bringing the yellows in on especially on that super enchi uh, mystic potion all right, so I mean that was a uh, that was a very uh, very cool stuff what Inchi's doing there uh, with the Mystic Potion stuff and the Super Mystic. So if it's a project you like, uh, want to get in on some of it, contact Chris. Uh, or if it's a project you like and you don't want to buy any, want to make your own, add Inchi to your uh, Bell Complex stuff. So all right, so enough time has went by. Let's see what I'm getting from my boy. Bam! Check that thing out. Holy smokes. And it's a return on investment for you. Since you made the mail that made it. <laughs> no kidding, man. And there isn't any tri-stripe in it. Yeah, it looks tri-stripe, don't it? It does. Actually, that looks way better than any tri-stripe I've seen thus far. Well, this was the this was in the clutch that you came over when you helped uh, did the update on the move. Yep. You helped me cut. Yep, I remember. You know what? Let's see this. Let's see. You brought some siblings, right? Yes, I did. So, Let's see, uh, let's see some siblings before you tell me what the parent is again. Another tri-stripe looking one. Yeah, this thing. But not tri-stripe. Guys, this thing's fixing. By the time this posts on YouTube, this guy will be on Morph Market. If you want one of the best snakes that I've seen this year, y'all need to pick this thing up. Uh, we're... <laughs> We're going to tell you the parent here in a second. It's kind of going to be whatever you think it is because we don't know. But my God, the thing is beautiful. Wow. And the other striped one from the clutch. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, the tail's just blown out. These things are nuts. All three are brothers. That's wow. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's talk about the parent here. All right, so the mail I got from you... And at the time you sold it to me, you thought it was a possible blackhead, but definite cinnamon lesser cypress. Yep. And through the other pairing that he was a part of, it looks like we've got a lesser blackhead orange belly. So that proves the orange belly. And I think you updated it. You said we would now consider him a blackhead cinnamon lesser possible cypress because we haven't seen anything that was 100% cypress, but this one male here and even this one you think might Definitely have might have cypress. Yeah, this this thing here looks pretty cypress looking to me. So not sure. We haven't bred or Chris hasn't bred the male enough to, to no. really know for sure. And the back of the head on this thing looks cypress too. That's why this year I'm keeping it simple and bringing the two. Well, that should help clear that up. <laughs> so for uh, things not to do, <laughs> don't take a multi-gene male that you're not 100% sure on the genetics and breed it to a four-gene female. Four female. Just uh, a side note there. Yeah, I spread it to an Enchi Fire Leopard Orange Dream female. And I did that, like we talked about, because I'm heavy in the blue eyed cystic complex, mainly yep. Mojave and Mystic. Yep. And that was my one female that I knew for sure didn't have didn't Mojave. Have, yep. And I, I didn't want to risk lesser Mojave or lesser Mystic. Right. And so... That led to a slightly <laughs> foolish decision, right, but it's so producing beautiful animals. What we think is Cypress, Blackhead, 
Uh, Cinnamon Lesser was the male. Yep. What we think. And the female was OD Fire Leopard Inchy. Eight genes. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> and there were more snakes in the clutch too. These just happened to be the, the most crazy. The other ones I think were a little, we were able to ID those. Yeah, it's a real high quality Inchy Lesser female and Orange Dream Inchy. They're both on Morph Market. Now is this thing right here? Man. <laughs> That's gonna be a heck of a male for somebody. So, and honestly, I'm not real sure if any of these are blackhead. We know the male is blackhead from an, from another pairing that he done with Orange Billy, but this I thought this was actually we thought both of these were blackhead to start with. Right. But the older this snake gets, the more I don't think it's blackhead. Well, and then this one, I'm not really sure if it's blackhead either, simply because uh, cinnamon blackhead normally deletes that eye stripe in front. Of front of the eye there and that snake has it so i don't know might not be blackhead i have no idea chris has no idea no idea if you have an idea you can send us a message and tell us what you think but you're probably wrong too i'm just kidding garrett de meyer hatched out something <laughs> very similar to this one on his uh, v about weird genetic stripe stuff yeah and he and i exchanged a little bit but he wasn't even sure what this one would be yeah that's crazy all right guys so this one's going on my rack this one's going back to chris's rack this one, you somebody out there needs to buy. And uh, let's see what Chris got from me. So anybody that knows me, knows I love blackhead, knows I produce what I think is quality blackhead stuff. Well, one of the best snakes that I produced this year. Didn't even plan to really sell it. Somehow Chris talked me out of it because I happened to make two. Yes, I was going to keep both of them. Chris is my boy. Had to have it, so he got it. That's just, just the way friends roll. But anyway, check this out. Boom. Y'all have seen this thing on YouTube before. And I have two inchy pie females that I need something for, and there wasn't anything better than this for me. <laughs> so if you don't already know what this is, you shouldn't be following us on YouTube. <laughs> so this is the Blackhead Inchy red jean pied absolutely crazy and it's gonna fit in quite well for me because i also have a female blackhead het pie that i made that's also 50 percent head hypo just like he's 50 percent head hypo yeah yeah i forgot the positive so, hypo port it's gonna be fun to plug him into you and i are both working on the hypo pied stuff and with having a blackhead female that's 100 percent head pie 50 percent head hypo it's gonna be fun to work him into that the camera can't even pick up the oranges and yellows. It's one of the blur of the snake, I think. That's when you know you have a good snake. It uses the camera. Yeah, this thing's crazy. I love it. So I kept one of these myself. Uh, it looks practically identical to it. And then I have a, a sister that I believe is the blackhead inchy without the red gene. Um, not really sure. She's kind of weird looking, but I'm going to keep her. So Man, those things are crazy. So anyway, we're going to get out of here. Uh, really appreciate Chris stopping. I did not know that we were going to film today. So I'm like dirty in work clothes. Uh, I actually had to even sweep the floor because there's cocoa everywhere to, uh, to even be able to film. So it is what it is. This is, uh, just one of the spur of the moment filmings. And, uh, I hope y'all enjoy it. Go check out Chris. Uh, Chris, where can they find you? I'm on Morph Market. Facebook and then slowcountryballs at gmail.com is the easiest way to get a hold of me. It goes straight to my phone. I can usually answer that quickest. My wife also monitors our Facebook page and our Instagram page. And we're trying to post at least once a week to both those. There you go. So get at him. Especially if you want that crazy snake. But that crazy snake, you're not getting. Nope. Deuces. <laughs>